Okay. So go ahead and take either your two blocks or your pillow. If you're using the pillow, it'll go vertically. And uh, you're gonna lie down so that the pillow hits your low back. If you're using blocks, a block will go in between your shoulder blades and then underneath your head. And you'll lie down. So the back of my head is touching the floor and that feels okay for me. Uh, again, if you have a block and you want to put one underneath your head, that might feel really nice to be supported. And then relax your arms down. Your knees can go wide feet together like a butterfly or have your legs extended out long in front of you. And let this be enough for now. We'll take about uh, 10 to 15 breaths right here. If it's uncomfortable at all and you need to scoot yourself forward or back, go ahead and do that so it feels like your shoulders are getting a nice early stretch. Full breath in and deep breath out. Again, deep breath in and exhale, deep breath out. The easiest way to come out of this posture is to roll off of your pillow or your blocks. I'm gonna go ahead and roll onto the right side of my body. I would recommend you do the same, just roll onto the side of your body. And don't worry about moving your pillow or your blocks for the moment, just to stay in a fetal position for a couple of breaths. Perhaps your eyes stay closed, breathing in. And breathing out. Inhale. And exhale. And then using your left hand, push yourself on up so that you're in a nice tall seat. And you're going to move your pops up to the side, but then either take your one block or one cushion and you're going to set yourself up so that you're sitting on it. I'm going to sit turning away from you so you can see what your arms or what I want your arms to do. So again, either sitting up on your a cushion, your pillow, or your blocks. Come to sit up nice and tall, and then take your arms and extend them up towards the ceiling. Cactus your arms, your elbows out wide to the side, and then take your hands back behind you. Let your right palm go on top of your left palm. And then interlace your fingers at your low back. Push your palms down, feel your shoulders opening. And then again, on your next inhale, reach your arms back up towards the ceiling. On an exhale, cactus your elbows out wide to the side. Again, take your arms back behind you, maybe left palm on top of the right. Interlace your fingers again, pull your palms down, puff up your chest. On an inhale, reach your arms back up. Exhale, cactus your elbows out to the side. Right palm on top of your left at your low back. Interlace your fingers, push them down. One more time, on an inhale, reach your arms back up. Cactus your arms out wide to the side. Left palm open on top of the right. Interlace your fingers, push your palms down, pull your shoulders back, and then reach your arms up towards the ceiling. A little bit different this time, let your right fingertips come down into the floor, tiptoe them away from you, and then look up underneath your left arm. Deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Switch sides, let your left fingertips tiptoe away from you, give your right side body a stretch. Try to keep both of your sit bones rooting down. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. One more time. Full breath in. And a breath out. Bring yourself back on up to center. Reach your arms back up towards the ceiling. And this time, interlace your fingers at the base of your skull. Puff up, so lift your head up. And then as you exhale, pull your elbows in towards your head and pull your chin in towards your chest. Let's do that again. On an inhale, sit up tall. Try not to arch your back. On your exhale, elbows in towards your body. 
bow your head. On an inhale, let your elbows go wide and do arch your back, lift your heart up. Exhale, elbows in towards your belly, drop your head down. On an inhale, sit up nice and tall, try not to arch your back. Once again, pull your belly button up and back towards your spine. So I'm just gonna turn a little bit so that you can see. And then extend your arms up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, go ahead, release your hands down and remove your props off to the side. Palms will come down onto the mat. Take one leg, step it back so that you're in a half plank. Take the other leg, step it back so you're in a full high push-up plank pose. Hold here a couple breaths for one, for two. Deep breath in, downward facing dog as you exhale. Bend your knees in downward dog a lot and pedal out through your feet. Make sure that you're pushing your palms down onto the mat. Let your hips move from side to side. Again, I'm gonna recommend that you bend your knees, and then if you want, you can start to pedal out your feet as your legs will start to straighten a bit more. But really, I wanna take some of that pressure out of your low back. So with the knees bent, that's gonna help a lot with this. And then from here, just release your knees down and take child's pose. Send your sit bones back to your heels and extend your arms out long in front of you. From here, tiptoe your fingertips forward. Your elbows will lift up and tense your palms and pushing down into your fingertips, lift your belly and your forehead up just a couple of inches. And then on an exhale, push your palms down and let your forehead come back down. Let's do that again. On an inhale, push your fingertips down, lift your belly, lift your forehead up a couple of inches. And then as you exhale, go ahead and release down. Let your elbows stay onto the ground. Find a prayer with your hands and then let that prayer come back to the, the base of uh, your neck once again. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Again, inhale. And exhale. All right, go ahead and release your arms out long in front of you. Look forward, look between your thumbs. Slide your body all the way through so that you're in an upward facing dog. So right away, lift up, shoulders back. If you want to stick with cobra early on, that's fine. Knees will stay on the floor. And then go back to child's pose. So send your sit bones back to your heels. Again, you're either sliding into cobra or an up dog. Lower your knees, child's pose. Keep going like this on your own, sliding forward, cobra or up dog. It's a child's pose. When you're ready, you can take this back into an upward facing dog, uh, into a downward facing dog. But then we're gonna revisit that whole thing a couple more times. So if you do go back to down dog, release back to child's pose. Sliding forward. Downward dog. If you wanna get rid of the child's pose and now just start to move yourself from up dog to down dog, when you're ready, let that start to happen. If you'd rather stay in child's pose, that's fine as well. You can also do child's pose right into cobra. So I'm giving you uh, lots of options. We'll do a couple more breaths. So up dog, down dog, child's pose, cobra, any of those. Sliding forward or just going up dog, down dog. Eventually, downward facing dog and then take a nice deep full breath in and exhale tiptoe your feet in a little bit closer so that you're in a shorter downward dog and then your legs will probably be able to straighten out in your short down dog take your right arm and grab onto your left ankle or shin and just take a little bit of a pull that right elbow might uh, bend and you'll give your left shoulder a stretch and then switch, right hand will come down and just grab onto your right ankle with your left hand. Take a little bit of a pull. And then release, all right. Walk your feet forward, please, to the top of your mat so that you're in a forward fold. And right away, separate your feet wide. And again, bend your knees a lot. Let your arms dangle down, let your head be heavy. So with the knees bent, we're not so much worried about our flexibility here in this practice. Uh, I want you to release tension in your low back and in the shoulders and let your arms just dangle down, let your head be heavy, and feel free to sway from side to side. Uh, feel free also to grab onto opposite elbows and give your shoulders a little bit of a pull. And then switch, opposite arm on top if you are holding onto opposite elbows. Right. Release your arms down. Let your feet get a little bit closer so that they're about parallel, hips with distance, keeping those knees bent with your arms dangling down nice and slow. Begin to roll yourself up. Oof. Give 
yourself a shoulder roll, dropping your shoulders down, and then do that twice more. Shoulders up to your ears, and then drop your arms down. Make sure you're not arching your back as you do that. One more time. Shoulders up to your ears, and then go ahead and extend them down alongside your body. And take a nice deep full breath in. Close your eyes. Exhale, deep breath out. Again, inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, reach your arms up. So I'm turning so that you can see what I'm doing. Grab onto your right wrist with your left fingertips. Stretch the whole right side body long. Big step behind the left leg with that right leg and give your right side body a stretch. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then put your right foot back down. Grab onto your left wrist, same thing to the other side. Left foot will step over to the right. Give your left side body a stretch, a little bit of a lean, deep breath in. And exhale, left foot next to your right, both arms up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, bend your knees and forward fold. Please take a halfway lift on your inhale. And then as you exhale, fold, step your right leg all the way back to a low lunge. And once you do that, just tap your right knee down. You're on your fingertips, just pull your collarbones forward. And then it's downward facing dog as you exhale. Step your left foot back next to your right. Go right into up dog, no planks, no chaturangas. Just roll yourself right on through. If you need to stick with cobra, do that back to downward facing dog as you exhale. Right away, step your right foot forward in between your hands, on your fingertips, soften your left knee down, pull your shoulders back, look forward, step forward. Right away, reach your arms up towards the ceiling, standing tall, it's mountain pose as you exhale, arms alongside your body. Inhale, reach your arms back up towards the ceiling. Stay with me, grab onto your left wrist with your right fingertips, big step to the right with the left foot, we did this before. Other side, left foot comes down, grab onto your right wrist, lean to the left. Back to center, reach your arms up. On your exhale, forward fold over your legs. Halfway lift on your inhale. Left leg steps all the way back, low lunge, soften your left knee down. Just pull your shoulders back, heart forward. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Up dog on your inhale, roll yourself right on through, take your time. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Left foot steps forward, just soften your right knee down, you're on your fingertips, pull your collarbones forward. Big step forward with your right leg, right away reach your arms back up towards the ceiling. Mountain pose on your exhale. Same thing, on an inhale reach up, grab onto your right wrist, big step with the right foot over to the left, stretch. Back to center, left wrist, left foot steps to the right, take a little bit of a lean to the right. Back to center, reach your arms up, dive forward as you exhale. Whew. Halfway lift on your inhale. Step your right leg all the way back, same thing. Release your right knee down this time. If you wanna reach your arms up, reach your arms up. On your exhale, release your hands down. Downward facing dog, step back. Upward facing dog on your inhale, roll yourself right on through. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right foot steps forward, soften your left knee down. Again, reach your arms up on an inhale. Release your hands down, left foot steps forward. Right away, reach your arms up, inhale. Mountain pose, exhale. Last time, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Grab onto your left wrist, big step over to the right with your left foot. Right wrist, grab onto it with your left fingertips, stretch and lean to the left. Back to center, reach your arms up. On your exhale, forward fold. Last time, halfway lift on your inhale. Left leg steps all the way back. Release your knee down, reach your arms up. Crescent lunge. On your exhale, downward facing dog, step on back. Whew. Upward dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left foot steps forward, right away, soften your right knee down, reach your arms up, crescent lunge. On your exhale, release your hands down. Big step forward, right away, reach your arms up towards the ceiling, standing tall, mountain pose as you exhale. Pause here, take a nice deep full breath in. And exhale, deep breath out. On an inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Like we did at the beginning of practice, cactus your arms. Take your right hand over your left at your low back. Interlace your fingers, pull your arms down, puff up your chest, bend your knees and forward fold. Bend your knees, bend your knees, bend your knees. Whew. Pull your shoulders back, lift your belly up off of your thighs, halfway lift on your exhale, belly to thighs, straighten your legs if you want. And then again, bend your knees, pull your shoulders back, heart forward. Whew as you exhale, forward fold. 
Your knees can stay bent or you'll straighten them. Let your hands come to your low back and then release your hands down onto the mat. Step back, either way, downward facing dog. On an inhale, it's plank pose. If you want it, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Warrior one, step your right foot forward, spin your left heel down and reach your arms up towards the ceiling. So again, I'm gonna turn around so that you can see my arms. That same arm variation, elbows wide, hands to your low back. Interlace your fingers, pull your shoulders back. Again, reach up, cactus your arms, palms behind you, interlace your fingers, puff up. We'll do that one more time. Cactus, hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers this time, puff up your chest in warrior one as you straighten out your right leg. And then bend your right knee and bow forward. You don't have to go all the way down, just halfway. On an inhale, lift yourself on up, reach your arms up. We're gonna do a slow motion step into chair pose at the top of the mat, left foot to the top of the mat next to the right. Let the weight shift to your left leg and then pull your right knee in and stand up tall and take tree pose, right foot to your left thigh. If you'd like your foot to stay on your shin, that's fine, or even keep your toes on the floor. And then once again, take your arms back behind you. You can either interlace your fingers, grab onto opposite elbows, or some of you might be ready for reverse namaste. Five breaths for one. Exhaling for two. Try to stand up tall for three. Look over your right shoulder for four. Back to center, look over your left. Back to center, one more breath. Can you look up towards the ceiling? Back to center, let your right knee float in. Chair pose, carefully release your arms, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, release your hands down and then straighten out your legs. Take a halfway lift on your inhale, just forward fold, exhale. Separating your feet, hips with distance and parallel. Interlace your fingers again at your low back. Make sure that your knees are bent. Take the opposite grip, pull your shoulders back, front forward. As you exhale, belly to thighs, straighten your legs as best you can and fold. One more time, bending your knees. And exhale, fold. Hands to your low back and then go ahead, release your hands down, stepping back. Downward facing dog. Again, you have the option to just stay here for a couple of breaths or move through your traditional uh, vinyasa here, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. All right, same sequence. Left foot steps forward, right heel spins down. It's just warrior one, reach your arms up. Cactus your arms. Hands to your low back. Interlace your fingers, puff up. Again, reach up. Exhale, bend. Hands behind you, low back. Interlace your fingers, puff up. One more time, reach your arms up. Cactus your arms. Hands to your low back, one palm open on top of the other. Interlace your fingers this time, straighten your left leg, puff up. Bend your left knee, just go halfway, devotional warrior, bow forward. On an inhale, stand back up, float your arms up. It's a slow step forward into Utkatasana, at the top of the mat. And as soon as that right foot comes down, let the right leg take the weight. It's tree pose, so go ahead and set your foot up. Try to keep it off of your knee joint, above or below, hands behind you. Once again, you can interlace fingers behind your low back, grab onto opposite elbows, or reverse namaste. Five breaths, stand up nice and tall. Look over your left shoulder if you can. Back to center, look over the right shoulder. Back to center, look up. Woof. Back to center, releasing your arms as you take Utskatasana, chair pose, deep breath in. On your exhale, release your hands down, straighten your legs as best you can and fold. Take a halfway lift on your inhale. On your exhale, forward fold. Again, separate your feet as wide as mats with distance, bend your knees and sway. Let your arms relax. Yogi squat. 
So go ahead and lower your sit bones down. Again, if you want to grab your pillow or your blocks to sit on your blocks, you can go ahead and do that. A little bit tricky. So this is option one to stay here sitting on your blocks, opening your hips, and as you push your elbows into your legs, you feel this broadening of the top half of your chest. If you want to take it a little bit further for your shoulders, you can lift your hips up a little bit and see if you can take that right arm and thread it right next to your right ribs and your right thigh so that your right hand is kind of behind you. Same thing with the other side. So that left hand is moving in between your left upper thigh and your left hip so that your elbows are in the front. And then see if you can pull your elbows back into your legs and you'll feel like a really deep shoulder stretch. Couple breaths. Exhale, once more deep breath in. If you are in that really deep elbow stretch, just carefully release your hands, everybody hands down to the floor and straighten your legs and fold. Woo! Move your block off to the side if you're sitting on the block. Again, bend your knees and just sway, relax your arms, relax your head. <sighs> Moving back, downward facing dog, you're welcome to jump back right into chaturanga or walk on back. Vinyasa or no vinyasa, we'll go back to downward facing dog. Everyone take a nice deep full breath in. And exhale, let it go. Again, deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Drop your knees down onto the mat, child's pose once again, knees wide, big toes come to touch, extend your sit bones back to your heels. So same thing that we did at the beginning of practice, hands come into a prayer mudra uh, behind your head. This might be where you stay or lift your hips up and start to walk your elbows out a little bit further. Your hips are trying to make their way right over your knees. You can release the arms and then see if you can drop your chest down onto the mat. Some of you might be able to get your chin all the way down onto the mat, but your hips are quite high over your knees. Again, you're sticking with child's pose if that feels better for you, and you'll feel, again, a really uh, deep stretch in the shoulders and a stretch in your low back. <sighs> we are going to push forward into a cobra. Let's first go into sphinx. So your hips are gonna move forward, your forearms are still on the mat, and pushing your forearms down, pull your heart forward. Try to get to make sure that your shoulders are right above your elbows, deep breath in, pull your chin in towards your chest as you exhale. On an inhale, pull your chest forward, and then see if you can push into your palms so that your elbows lift up, walk your hands back a little bit, separate your feet a little bit wider so you're coming into a fuller expression of King Cobra. If this feels like it's too much, please stick with Sphinx Pose with your forearms on the mat. Make sure that your shoulders are not here next to your ears, that you drop them down, and then look over your right shoulder, back to center, look over your left shoulder, back to center on an exhale. Walk your hands down, walk your elbows down, create two 90 degree angles with your arms. And then here, flip your left arm upside down so that you have a 90 degree angle with that left arm going down. Your head can stay turned to the left. You can also slide your right knee up towards your right elbow so you're in a variation of half frog. Feel free also to look to the right, which is probably gonna feel a bit better for your neck. chin back to center. Take that left arm and flip it so that you have that cactus arm out to the side. Take your right leg and slide it back down next to your left. Let your big toes come to touch. Reach your arms back behind you. Interlace your fingers. Pull your shoulders back and lift your legs back. Five breaths for one. Try to keep the heels of your hands reaching a little bit closer towards each other for two. Next stays long for three. Inhale. Exhaling for four and for five. The elbows are going to want
once again make goal post arms. This time that right arm will flip. So again, it looks like this, but you're lying down on your stomach. There we go. Two 90 degree angles this time. That right arm is flipped upside down. Let your left knee slide up towards your left elbow. Flex your left foot and you can stay looking to the left or you'll turn your head to the right, which will create a little bit deeper of a stretch. <sighs> Exhaling, feeling the earth underneath you, feeling your heart beating into the ground, the belly uh, pushing up and down as you breathe into the ground. Take your left leg and slide it back down. Both arms come down and reach back behind you. Again, opposite grip, opposite thumb on top, big toes come to touch, pull your shoulders back, lift your heart forward again, Shalabhasana, flying locust variation, looking over your nose tip so that your neck stays long for three, for two, and for one and then release down your nose will come to the ground let your hands come next to your chest and then just uh, let your legs move from side to side relax the arms turn your head to the opposite side as you continue to shake out the hips and move your legs side to side relax your legs down child's pose push on back Feel free to tuck your toes in child's pose if that feels good. And then when you're ready, you'll untuck your toes. <sighs> so we're gonna thread the needle. You're welcome to thread in child's pose, left arm underneath the right. If you'd rather come onto all fours and thread the needle there, that's fine as well. Right arm can still reach forward. Maybe you wrap it back behind you. I think forward feels a little bit better. Breathing in. Breathing out. And switch when you're ready. If you need a little bit more time, then take it. center, bring yourself up to all fours, push your palms down, knees under your hips, nice and slow, drop your bellies down, take your cow pose, on an exhale, it's cat pose, chin to chest. We usually do this at the beginning of practice, I often like it, uh, how it feels more towards the end of practice. <sighs> Feel free to move your hips around from side to side in any way. Okay. Find your way onto all fours and then staying on your knees and your shins, come to stand up so that you're on your shins, your hands will be on your hips. Take your hands back behind you to your low back. Pull your shoulders back. This might be where you stay, perhaps the toes stay tucked. From here, the hips are reaching forward and the shoulders are pulling back. Maybe you grab onto opposite elbows like you did before. Little back bend. And then sit down onto your shins. Let your hands come to Namaste Mudra at the center of your chest. Bow your head slightly. Come on back up, hands to your low back, push them into your low back, pull your shoulders open, 
Again, maybe grab onto opposite elbows, switch which arm naturally goes on top, little, hip, uh, little push forward of the hips, shoulders continue to pull back. If you feel like you have more space to go into a deeper back bend, put your hands onto your low back. Hands can either be facing up or palms or fingers rather facing down, but you want your hips to continue to pull forward. Again, it might feel better with your toes tucked. Make sure you're not collapsing in your low back. You might still be here. And then let that be enough. Come to sit back down onto your heels, hands in Namaste Mudra. Bow your head slightly, close your eyes. All right. One more time. So you're either taking a baby back bend with your hands behind you, pulling your hips forward, shoulders back. If you feel like you're ready for a fuller expression of camel, reaching for your heels, make sure that your hips continue to reach forward, your toes can stay tucked or untucked is going to give you a deeper stretch, shoulders pulling back. If it feels like it's too much, come back to one of those smaller variations, otherwise holding onto your shin, or your heels rather, and maybe the head drops back. If you are in a fuller expression, come on up nice and slow, chin to chest. Again, everyone sit down onto your heels, hands to Namaste Mudra, bow your head slightly. Close your eyes. Release your hands when you're ready. Shift over to one side or come to sit down behind your heels as you scoot your butt towards the center of the mat and then nice and slow roll yourself on down. Relax your arms alongside your body. Pull your heels a little bit closer towards your sit bones and on an inhale, lift your hips up nice and slow. On an exhale, bring your spine back down one vertebra at a time. Again, inhale, lifting up, and exhale. One more time, inhale, roll yourself on up. This time, if you want to take the arms back behind you, go ahead and take the arms back behind you. And then exhale, bring it back down nice and slow. The arms will come down as well. Separate your feet as wide as mats with distance. Let your knees knock together. Take one hand over your heart space and your uh, opposite hand over your belly. Close your eyes. Breathe into your palms. Pull your knees in towards your chest. Make circles on your back with your knees moving in one direction. And then your knees moving in the opposite direction. Take your knees and bring them directly over your hips and create a 90 degree angle with your legs and let your hands rest on top of your knees. Feel your low back pushing flat down into the mat. So make sure you're not arching your back. You want to feel your low back pushing flat down. And then pull your knees back in. Wrap your arms underneath your knees. Rock yourself forward and back, forward and back on your spine and let this rocking massage the low back. Eventually, you're gonna come on up to sit Either take your two blocks and place them underneath your knees or go ahead and grab onto your pillow, placing that underneath your knees. We're gonna take a restorative forward fold so that when you forward fold, your legs are still bent. Grab onto opposite elbows and let your forehead rest into your forearms. Again, the knees are bent. No tension in the face, no tension in the jaw.
your blocks underneath your knees. Go ahead and lie down. You want your legs to feel comfortable, let your feet flop open, and the pillow or the blocks are supporting the legs up a little bit so that this will uh, better release tension in your low back. Closing your eyes, allowing the physical body to soften down towards the earth. As your uh, energetic body or a feeling of lightness moves up and away. Finding some slow movements. Eventually some bigger movements. Pulling your knees in towards your chest, rock from side to side. Eventually rocking over to the right side. And when you're ready, finding your way up to a tall seat. If you're not quite ready, take your time. There's no rush. Shoulders can come up to your ears and then drop them down. Try not to arch your back. Reach your arms out wide and straight up towards the ceiling, letting your hands come to touch and then Pull Namaste Mudra to the center of your chest. Bow your head slightly, honoring your efforts. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. May I be at ease. May all beings be at ease. I love you, keep going. I love you, keep going. I love you, keep going. Letting that be enough for today. Namaste.